Hello, today I'm going to look at the Workspace One Intelligent Hub. If you're an existing customer using Workspace One uh, UEM or um, it's something you're looking at using, if you wanted to have a look at the Intelligent Hub and see what sort of value and, and what features and functions that brings you, there is an option when you install that app to actually just go into a demo mode. So first off, I need the app. So I'm going to come into the App Store. I'm just using an iOS device today to demonstrate this. So I'm going to search on Workspace One and here you're going to see two applications. The top one being um, an older application that isn't really used so much anymore, but it's intelligent that we want to we want to look at. So I'm going to install the Intelligent Hub. <clears throat> if this is something you've never used before, you're not familiar with, as a user, I use the Intelligent Hub to gain access to my self-service app catalog, to all my virtual applications, my web apps, my SaaS apps, as well as taking advantage of things like company notifications, single sign-on, multi-factor authentication. So this, this really is the starting point for me as an employee to gain access to all my resources, whether that's on a mobile device or a desktop device. If I launch Intelligent Hub, I'm gonna get prompted for my email address or a server. And here the server would be my Workspace ONE UEM tenant. As I mentioned, if you don't have this set up or you're not in a position to do testing, you can just click on the very bottom here where it says see how the hub works and try a demo. That essentially circumnavigates me needing a workspace one inside, sorry, a workspace one UEM tenant is going to do some testing. So here it's going to go through kind of a, a, a like a script and, and um, what it's going to be like is a pre onboarding. So I can continue here <clears throat> and see it's just welcoming me to to company. Obviously, that can be customized to display the correct name and company. And in here, this is essentially kind of the landing page of the intelligent hub. So in here, this is where I'm going to add applications. So at the moment, I don't have any favorites. So I can click Explore Apps or the Apps button along the bottom. And then here you can see that I've got various applications. So if I click three dots down the bottom there, and I add to my favorites, I'll add service now as well. And I will launch ADP. If I go back to my favorites, you can see they're now on my home page. If I re if I disconnected from this device or went across to a different device, where it's Mac, or Windows 10, for example, when I logged into the Intelligent Hub from that device, I would see these same applications. So they roam with me. What we won't be able to see in this demo is if I click an app like Workday, I'm in a demo mode. So what we don't see is, what we don't have is actually access to that, that particular SaaS app. But if this was production environment, this would then launch the Workday application and give me single sign on through to that. As we're able to take advantage of single sign on through to web apps and SaaS apps, as well as native applications, as well as those virtual applications. If this was the full intelligent hub, there'd be a few new, a uh, few additional tabs along the bottom. We have the ability to, to do a people search. So rather than going into say Outlook and, and looking up somebody's contact details, we would be able to do it right from here within the intelligent hub. If I go into the for you, this is essentially a notifications page. So within Workspace ONE, you can have things like notifications and what we call workflows that basically are almost something that's an action or a request on uh, the end user, or maybe you need them to do something, or maybe it's just a message, whether that message is uh, sort of low priority or high priority. But here you can see that there's priority notifications that's welcoming me to the company. So I can close that, I've read it. And then there's things that are actionable. So these are the things I need to do. So this is the company asking me to update my contact information and workday, confirm my home address and SAP, order my company credit card, as well as you know, a welcoming video, as well as an overview, um, you know, a guided tour of the campus. So these are all things that we can do. Okay, so I can trigger there, um, or as I say, I can go in. All this stuff's not necessarily gonna work because you're in a demo mode, but I think you get, um, you know, get the gist. So if, I, if you imagine I've gone through and I've actioned all these um, particular things, and, and it's up to you to customize that. So it could be welcome videos, it could be um, you know, changes to corporate policy. If I wanted to revisit anything, I can come back into history um, and I could then click on notifications. Oh, apologies. Click on history there. And then I could revisit any of those if I wanted to. If I click a little bit to the right in the way I just did then on terms of the picture, these are all things that can be customized. Obviously, I can 
in, in real world and production, I have my own photo there. Um, you also have the ability to, to define whether you want push notifications enabled. Um, th there's also other things in there you can do. For example, if you are using virtual applications and you're using, say, the VMware Horizon client, you can you can configure here whether you want it to uh, launch the application in an HTML5 tab or use the Horizon client itself. As I mentioned, the, the functionality here is relatively limited because of it's just trying to give you a feel for it. Um, and hopefully this is something that will be developed over time. But if you're completely new to Intelligent Hub and you want to have a, a very quick look at it and see what it's like, you know, there's various videos on YouTube, but if you want to have a little click around yourself, then this is a great way to do it. The other option would be to use a VMware platform called Test Drive. That would give you access to a um, demo tenant um, that would allow you to have a play around and, and kind of get a feel for what it looks like uh, in a more functional way. So you would have access to applications like Office 365 and things like that. But this is just a very quick and easy way to test the demo mode. Hopefully that was of use. Thanks for your time.